Hey guys, and welcome back to another great day on Footdoof Valley Farms. Today we are here, we gotta do our morning chores here real quick. I've been playing for quite a few days now. I believe last time I checked in with you guys was either the 16th or the 18th. Since then we have gotten a lot more money coming in. It's been very, very nice. We're gonna go ahead and just water these crops up right here real quick. And then we can get on with some other stuff. So last time, last episode, we got our uh, poultry farm. So we got our baby chicken. He's just chilling around here somewhere. I don't really know what he's up to. We got a horse that we can ride around, which is super useful for getting around. Honestly, I haven't used him a whole lot yet. But um, since then, I've been kind of doing a lot of the daily grind. I've been just trying to do a lot of whole, a lot of stuff that isn't very interesting content-wise. Mostly just, if you guys remember, we used to have a giant forest back here. Chopped all of that down. Uh, it was a bunch of the uh, trees with the pink leaves on them, whatever those were. We got a bunch of the wood in here. Sakura. Um, so with that, we got all that stuff. That's really cool. And we can, I've set up these little berry arms more or less. I'm calling them a farm, but basically this is just a row of the blackberry bushes. Here we got, um, just, and then I'm starting off a second row right back here. That's starting to grow up real nice. And I've just been kind of extending it as it goes. Just making that a little, little bit longer. And I guess we can start another row over now until we can fix all that up but then right here I moved all the other berry bushes around the zone because it's two different types of food and these are really nice basically the little snacks here and there and basically I figured out the food system works if you eat like four of something you want to trade off so eat like four of these berries eat something else and so we got a whole bunch of food starting to come up here now it's working out real well we can kind of just munch on some berries here it'll be fine get some food get some food in our stomach here and then we can go throughout the day but anyways the plan for today is we want to get through the um i went through and all this wood i have on me sakura wood we got a bunch of it so we can actually go ahead and buy another blueprint and we're going to get the cattle farm to get cattle farm whatever it's called so you live here what you what you hey hey what's if you're uh 9 a.m okay well we gotta wait a little bit come on Come on, you're almost there. Hi, bud. I know you want to open your shop. Nine. Sunday to Friday. Yep, yep, now, now we're good. Cool. Yeah, totally. Everything changed right there. But yeah, the animal ranch. Um, 100 wood and 6k gold. We have two stacks of Sakura wood in our place, and that's kind of what we want to be using here. Instead of the rest of our stuff, because, you know, it's kind of the easy stuff to get rid of, so it works out real well. All this stuff here, we're going to be building our farmhouse soon. We really, really got to get that going. So all this stuff here, that's we'll be getting that later on. But for now, let's get our animal ranch. So we got it. Oh, that is. That's a big one. Oh, that's a really cool shape of building. Wow, that's cool. All right, so originally I was thinking we'd throw them up there. But now I'm thinking about it. It would be kind of cool to have them kind of. We got our chicken coop right here, our chicken whatever you. Foxy's fowl. This is Ashley, and she has a fox around here somewhere. I don't know, or she says she has a fox. But yeah, this is where we got a chicken from. And then if we throw this guy down, like, I don't know, if we can do him, like, right over here. We'd have to work with the land quite a bit. Or we could, let's see what it looks like if we throw it up here. Because this hill right over there behind our field that way, that hill, that's where we're going to be building our farmhouse. And we want all of our... I kind of want to go a lot into animals here just because I feel like it'd be more fun. So we're going to have a lot of animal pastures back here and then farms and things on the other side. It's kind of a smaller area, but I'm thinking it'll probably stretch out this way. So what we can do here is, yeah, so if we get this guy out, we need to place him like down there for it to work out. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of clear out this stuff and I'll be back with you guys once I get this land cleared out. Probably I need a few shovels, but we'll get it going. Got to bring it down four layers. Oh man. But yeah, so I'll be back once I get this done because it's not that entertaining. I'll see you guys in a few. A little bit of change plans here, guys. That up there, I was looking at it. I was just kind of was working on bringing it down. And I was like, that's kind of lame. And it's kind of in our area. I'm thinking the farthest building we want to bring over is this guy. And then kind of everything from here over is our area where we build our stuff outside of the town itself. We want to do the town originally around the lake. That little lake here I ended up connecting it over with that one right there and i think it's gonna be kind of cool to be able to put like a bridge across that area i think it'd be real nice kind of splitting it in half right now it looks a little weird but when we get the bridge on it i think it'd be cool so i'm thinking because we got the chicken guy right there that base underneath looks really weird i don't know why they did that 
but um, that's not, not a problem. Over here, I might fix that later though. Over here is where I'm thinking we're actually gonna put this guy. So this area right here kind of still needs some, we need some love, it needs, it needs a little bit of love. We got, we got some dirt here. We can kind of start just patching in all these areas and smoothing them out. I'm gonna go ahead and just do one layer for now and I will come back later and fill it in with two. I don't want to fill in the whole thing, but I usually go in and do the, like, like a layer or two out of, like a layer or two deep. So we can at least get some, some way where we can kind of see through it and actually like work with breaking blocks and not worry about falling to our death. But yeah, so this is kind of the new idea where I'm thinking we're going to put it. There's already a lot of horses over here, so I can figure it kind of works. Looks right in my opinion. But yeah, so we can come over here. Fill in that cave. I want to work on smoothing out this hill right here. And then berries. I was already kind of smoothing out this area. This was really rough back here. I had a bunch of stuff like that. Ooh, a cave we can go check out. Um, but yeah, so I want to smooth out all of this good stuff in here. Just kind of making it work a lot better for us. So I'm going to go do that and I'll get back with you guys. Man, we really got to start doing some caving again. I'm almost out of iron because I've been making so many freaking shovels while doing this. Oh, here's our last little bit that I want to get put in right in here so we can get this all filled in. Pretty much I just want to even it up right across here. I've made like six shovels trying to get enough dirt to be able to fill this area in. I've basically been combing down a mountain far over that way. Just, or not a mountain, but one of the hills. I've been slowly just moving it out so we can actually put a field on it instead of it being a hill. Figured it'd be kind of cool having kind of fields weaving in between the hills and things like that, kind of going up different slopes and everything, but we can finally place this down three in-game days later. Why are there oak saplings down here? I'm gonna move you guys up to here. Do one there, do the other right there. But yeah, we can grab our blueprints. We can see this guy's pretty big, but he should be able to fit in here. Um, we can, I'm thinking we go something kind of like right. Bring it in a little bit, so we can do something kind of like that. And then we right click, yeah, yeah. Oh, Eula's already here. Hi, Eula. Let's get this guy out of the way for him. One thing I found out is the iron sickle insta breaks any leaf you're looking at, and when you click on it, it's super nice. But yeah, so we'll let Eula get all this stuff going. We'll get all this grass out of the way for him. Um, can I do his own thing? Should be enough. Yeah, that should be good. But I'm gonna keep going and grinding away on all these chores and I will catch back with you guys when this build is finished because I'm pretty pumped to get this stuff here and get some animals going. Yulif over here is a freaking magic worker guys. I gave him all Sakura wood and he somehow turns it into spruce and oak. I don't know what he's doing man but that guy works some magic. Anyways let's go check this place out. We can eh, let's finish up this path right here. Added in the path kind of as he was building. Figured it'd work out well. Look at this dude. Animal Ranch open Monday. Do Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Look at that. Oh, we got high Candice and we got Jim. You guys got some nice stuff in here. Cool. Oh, it's a nice cauldron back there. Hi, Jim. Welcome to the ranch. Do you need anything? Let's go shopping. You can buy a treat for 10 gold. You can buy a cow on lead after purchase for 5k. Name tag 250. Sheep for 4k. Animal medicine, fodder, food trough. Redstone carrot? What the heck? Horse upgrades. Okay, so you can give your you can upgrade your horse by giving him carrots. That's pretty cool. Okay, I, I like that. That's fun. That's five iron gold each. We got some sheep and some cows. We're gonna sit, we're gonna keep working with crops for now, so we can build up that gold just a little bit more. Thinking by the time we get closer to winter, we'll hopefully be in a lot of those. So we got to go through summer first, though. Hi, Candace. Small store with pets. Want to buy some? What pets you got? Oh, isn't this the, yeah, this is the lady that was up at the top of the, the, weren't you up, at, I swear she was up at the, wasn't Candace up in the general store? Huh, well, and, well, cool, Jim's, Jim, you're a nice guy. How much are chickens? Because we have one chicken. He doesn't sell chickens. Get a miracle potion for 3k, we'll figure out what those do. Um, you got a sheep and a cow, so we got to get those guys going here soon. Well, we were kind of waiting on him to build. I was doing a little bit more tree chopping and stuff and watering the crops. 
and clean it up just around the place. Got all these cool paths set in. We got to figure out what we want to do for the actual like blocks kind of leading up the slopes because they're full blocks right now. But we can kind of bring this guy back here for now. But guys, that's kind of all I want to do in today's video is get that thing built up, get it set up here. And I'm, I think in the next one, we got to finally start doing our own house. We got all these things to base off of style wise and everything. We got this whole area cleaned out. Ooh, I did start clearing this bit out over here. If we got some, we only got seven dirt on us. We can't really fill all of this in. But I'm really, really trying to smooth out the terrain and make it look a lot more interesting so we can have something better to work with. Gonna bring, be bringing that hill down over there. Gonna probably leaving that guy right there. Gonna probably be moving this bear farm, berry, berry farm. Um, over here, I keep seeing all these um, sea creatures like moving around in the water. Uh, not just the squids. There's like some. You can see the laser going down there. I think there's actually an underwater temple in here. Let me check this out. Or it's just one of them just chilling out here. But yeah, you see that little laser right in front of us? He's like here zapping all these squids and things, man. I think. He, oh, he's gonna kill us. I don't like him. He's an elite. Why? What the heck is he doing, man? We're gonna just leave him be. That that was really ineffective using those arrows. Um. Oh, there's another one right there. They're killing all my squiddies, dude. So there must be an underwater temple or whatever they're called out there somewhere. I'm assuming, because that's a that's pretty interesting to see those guys swimming around here. Unless that's part of the mod pack, then we are staying away from the ocean. But yeah, as I was saying guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Especially with how the layout of our town is coming along as we get our farm set up here. I think it's going to be really cool, but let me know what you guys think. We've got to water all these crops before this day is over. So I'm going to get to work on that here after this episode. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you are new. And as always guys, I will see you in the next episode.